let's define a compound ROI, that is region of interest, on the main image display and then retrieve this with a property node. For this application, I need to use a compound ROI. This contains multiple contours, one rectangular contour for each digit in the LCD display. Now at the moment, it seems like I can only create one at a time. Let me clear this out and then try again. I've placed my first contour. Now I'm holding down the control button and then drawing in the second contour. As long as you hold down the control key, you can define additional contours. It's important to note that the order in which you draw these contours dictates their position in the ROI array. Any one of these can be manipulated individually as needed. So after they've been placed, of course, you can always go back and edit their specifics. You can even have multiple types of contours in the compound array might place an ellipse, for example, or even a second one. Now if you change your mind on this, simply right-click and then you can delete that contour. Alright, here I have my four contours that define this compound ROI. The image that we're looking at here, the main image display, is just called image display. That's the way I've named that particular indicator. And uh, as we come back here to property, property node, we can link to that image display. I'll find its name here. There's image display. And the property that I would like to retrieve from that image display is the ROI. And that's located right here. Let's examine the output of the property node. We get a cluster of two elements. We get an, an array known as the global rectangle. And then we get a, an array of contours. And each contour is itself a cluster that includes contour type, ROI, ROI type, and then the defining points for that region of interest.